Hey there, fellow gamers. It's the Ramblin' Manager here with another ditty for you tonight. And I, I will confess, there are some things I haven't done yet in Deathloop. I know, I'm being like a dead horse here. But this idea just struck me like lightning here. If there's one thing I am a little bit disappointed about the game, besides the like various things I did talk about, it is the ending. And this, 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 this lightning strike on my cranium came to me whenever I was checking out a particular website for uh, video game soundtracks. And I scrolled down to it and I saw Pitch Black. I'm like, huh, what's this song? And it was a song they were using for one of the trailers to the games. I'm like, I just like, because there was like a beat for it. And the beat sounds really good. But then as I look at, I decided to look at the lyrics as I started listening to it. And this is like one of those instances where I feel like Arcane Leon got some very great fucking music. With some meaningful lyrics, like Ode to Somewhere. Like, that music right there, that shit is based around Fia and Charlie. If I had to look at Pitch Black here, this is literally the tango music between Colt and Juliana. At first I was thinking it was, you know, it, 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 like, my original idea here from, like, 30 seconds ago, I was thinking this music would have been great to listen to. When you're pulling off the final loop. Whenever you have all the pieces together and you pull out your master plan to kill all eight visionaries in one day. This music would have been nice. But the thing is, is that with how it goes in terms of the tempo and the lyrics, this shit would have been perfect. Not for a cinematic, but for a well choreographed fight with Juliana. Like, just picture it like this. You kill the last visionary, you get into the rocket, and you go straight to the um, control. It's not a tower, it's like something else. It's like a antenna to channel the anomaly's power. And we'll just say you go in there, now you have the two options. You have the option to, you know, side with Juliana and get the, the lame ending of you reconcile with her and the loop goes on forever and ever, for all eternity until... The game loops back into the main story because it kind of like it has an idea that some of these cults may have gone through this and they side with Juliana. Like her silver tongue made her win another, you know, cult over. And then eventually all this shit happens again. You, you, you go amnesic and then boom, you got to start the game all over again. Then there's the other part, which is how you unlock the true ending, the... The, the extended ending. <laughs> Such a great ending. But what they could have done was done a well choreographed boss fight between Juliana. And when I say an actual boss fight, true to form boss fight. I know there was no health bars or like indication like how much damage they're doing towards the enemy. But they could have done like a full blown fucking boss fight. Because... What they could have done was, like, you know, like, the whole loop is completely stabilized. Like, now you found out how to fucking kill eight visionaries in one day, or seven of them, sorry. Now it's really on a thread. So now, Jillian is the last one. She's the one holding it together. And during that time, like, there was... Ah, bollocks. Well, one minute. Sorry, technical difficulties. So... Um, what would happen is, you know, if you had gone with the true ending here, or, like, the, the, the true way to break the loop, Juliana would have gotten pissed off, and reality just starts crumbling all around you, because, um, there was, like, moments in the game through reading, sadly, that there was various people on Black Reef before, you know, the whole cycle began, the whole looping thing happened, that people were seeing things around, like, the corner of their eye and seeing people like themselves there when they're not when they were there like yesterday or something so what could have happened was maybe this is like really intense like the whole fabric of the uh dimension that the the loop cycle is in 
is starting to fall apart. So what will happen is Juliana will start using like the anomalous power to transport you to different parts of the map that are just starting to fall apart. It, obviously, the budget would have been really fucking big on this. Like, I feel like the majority of the budget would have went towards this particular thing, like jumping to like different parts of the map at instant. It, it would kind of made use of the uh, you know the fast SSD speeds on the uh, PS5. Instead of having to worry about 30 to 40 second load times on PC here. But it would have been nice. It could have added like a huge um, arena fight with Juliana. Maybe she could have like brought other internalists in as fodder so you can kill them for health or some ammo. And in terms of balancing Juliana as a boss, she would have like maybe the whole suite of abilities. Like she found a way to just tap into that anomalous power to a T. You're only able to have, like, you know, two abilities on you and a couple weapons. Juliana, she just has, like, the magic bag of holding. She has every ability on her. She can fucking blink at different areas to avoid your attacks. She can go invisible to try and, like, have a cheap shot on you. She can just do all this shit. But maybe to balance it out, it's not, like, completely busted. Since you're in, like, a boss-type area, how it can go is, you know... Um, her powers are, like, semi-weakened because she has all these abilities on her. So if she does turn visible, you'll still see, like, a transparent, you know, light, so to speak. It'll, it'll be really recognizable. Her blink power or, um, shift, it'll only be to, like, a certain extent. But it's, like, she'll just have, like, the majority of powers. Obviously, she won't have Nexus unless she tries to use it, like, against you. Like, if there's still, like, multiple people on her, she could try linking Nexus to a bunch of Eternalists. And it goes back to you. But because it won't be an insta-kill, it'll just take like a huge chunk of your health. You gotta like either use Nexus on her or like try and find a way to like push it back on her. I don't know. It's a little bit tricky in how you would mitigate Nexus. But like she would have like a huge chunk of ability. She would have, you know, um, the Aether ability. She would have Shift. Uh, she'll definitely have the Rage move. Um, maybe she'll have the new Fugal power, the one that turns people drunk and, you know, really, uh, crazy and psychotic. Maybe that could fuck you up somehow with blurring your vision or, you know, weakening your accuracy. But all the while this shit's happening, like, whenever you, like, take some of her health bar down, like, in most, you know, games with a boss fight, what happens is there'll be a scripted event where it'll be, like, a small cinematic will play out, and Pitch Black will just start playing in the background, between the beats and the lyrics, it all just, it all just ties into it so fucking well. And I'm just thinking about it in my head here. I'm like, this would have been a great way to top off Deathloop. Not just a simple, you know, oh, I put a bolt in Juliana's head and that's it. The like the the visionaries and how you take them on are pretty fucking cool. I like the environments. I love how you can use different ways to take them on. But like a true genuine boss fight against Juliana, a chick that's, you know, been going through the loops for probably thousands of years, has all this fucking knowledge. You would think that she would, you know, have like a big giant boss fight. It could have been fucking awesome. It could have, like, it could have been a great way just to add in like a huge, you know, grand finale to Deathloop. To, you know, just make it, like, action-packed and make it really fucking memorable. And maybe, you know, you could still have your option of, you know, killing her really quickly and just ending it right there. But then you can, like, choose to maybe, like, have an actual boss fight where maybe it'll give you, like, an extra reward or a little bit of extra satisfaction, you know? They could have done something to make it work like that. But beyond that, I mean, if it's not Juliana, they still could have done something along the lines of maybe having that music play in the background, because it's, it's hyping you up, you're, you're close to breaking the fucking loop here, and it could have this music playing while you're, you know, performing some stealth moves, or fiddling with Frank Spencer's fireworks, or trying to, you know, take out Charlie and Fia silently in, in the, uh, that, um, underwater area, thingy, whatever the fuck it is, they could have just, like, they could have done so much more of the music. It's like, I, I listened to Ode to Somewhere in that one area, in Fist Hand Rock, and that was really fucking... It, it's one of those songs of all time, basically. Not in a shitty way, but it's like, there's very few games that have, like, an impactful song 
that just resonates with like the character and the game as a whole and just makes you feel some shit. I feel like, you know, Pitch Black could have been like a huge fucking opposite side to it. It could have been an action-packed song that could have been great for a huge boss fight or a huge spectacle to end Deathloop in the, the right way. But instead, we got to use it for a trailer where half of the actions you perform you basically won't really use if you decide to cheese some of the six the systems of death loop itself but yeah this is just you know uh you know lightning bolt and a glass bottle id here i wanted to share and it's kind of it's kind of sad though because it's like even though i got burned with that new ending for death loop there's just something about it that keeps me coming back there are just some games that have that 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 hook to it. And I think Deathloops is the music. Like the music for the game is really fucking awesome. Like the art, the time setting, so to speak, like the aesthetic they have going for it, the music, all of it is fucking beautiful. But it's kind of held back from like, you know, one single solution to breaking the loop. Kind of semi decent gameplay. And just, you know, being ruined by that new additional ending. But, yeah, I just wanted to share that real quick. My, my idea there to maybe add in a, a grand finale of sorts to Death Loop. Like, I'm not saying, like, you know, breaking the loop, like, that whole spectacle wasn't too bad. But it's like... It all leads up to a very anticlimactic thing. You know, it's like one of two endings. One puts you back into the game. The other one also kind of puts you back into the game, sadly. But it's all just, you know, cut and dry. Like, ooh, you just pop Julian in the head and that's it. And it's like... <sighs> there could have been so much more of that fight. Because whatever you think about it, it's just like... When you try and go up against her or, like, the various visionaries with their different powers, it, like, it kind of, like gives you an idea of what to expect. It can almost be like pre-planning of sorts to a grand finale of a boss fight, like an epic battle with Juliana. But that's how he did in the confines of the gameplay, so it's just what we have. Until, you know, Deathloop 2 seemingly gets announced, because I was reading on some articles that, you know, with how this new cutscene shows off the world here, that, you know, it could hint to like an apocalyptic future of Deathloop 2, which is like... I don't know how that would work. Because it would definitely... It would take away like the whole looping aspect of the game. And also, in regards to the looping, I, I am a little bit, you know... Because there's no like actual continue function, as much as it would be fucking hard... And most definitely would fucking piss you off... There should be kind of like an idea of... If you do fail that boss fight, you have to go through like the whole procedure again of breaking the loop... But maybe, like, some ways to counteract that. Maybe the Julian you're facing maybe isn't really Julian. Maybe it's, like, different clones of her from, like, the other realities. You know, like, how she uses that gimmick for, like, the map. Use it, like, as an actual boss fight. Where maybe you're not really fighting Julian, but maybe she's using the anomalous powers of bringing other clones of herself that are specked out in those different abilities. And then every time you kill them, you can, like, have a few seconds to absorb them. For some extra, you know, loops. Those, those, those reprises. There could have been a lot of ways that they could basically could have made like a epic, fantastic boss fight for the end. But as I said before, just they couldn't do it. But anywho, that's an, yet another video on Death Loop, a game that just still has its teeth into me to this day here, despite all the fucking disappointments of it. Uh, usual YouTube chant. Let me know how you guys would have wanted, you know, Deathloop to end. What type of ending you would have wished the game would have had. Uh, beyond that, I got, you know, play around with my co-host here now. Interpret it as you will. Uh, that's the rambling manager clocking out. See y'all next time. See ya.